Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, as you guys just saw in the clips before this, the FRS was basically broken down on the side of the highway. And this all happened just a couple of days after we went ahead and threw air suspension on the car. So we ended up getting the car towed home. Once it got home, I realized it was the front left bag that popped. And the reason why it popped is because my wheel fitment was a bit too aggressive. Now my wheel fitment is 18 by nine and a half plus 45. And with the bags that I have, it's not really compatible because the wheel will basically be rubbing on the bag. And that's pretty much what happened. I didn't realize the wheel was rubbing on the bag, nor did the shop that installed it realize. So once this all happened, I ended up calling the shop that installed it for me. And they're really nice guys. They ended up replacing the bags for me in the front for absolutely free. So huge shout out to those guys for helping me out. Now, usually with the mods we do on the FRS, we install it ourselves the bags I did not install it by myself because for me the only way to keep the warranty that I have on the bags was to get a professional shop to go ahead and install it for me so we ended up taking the FRS an hour and a half up to the shop and we got everything done pretty quickly now that the car is back let me go ahead and show you guys the air suspension and then we'll go over all the plans and what we want to do to the car in the future So as you guys just saw, the FRS is officially on air suspension and there's so many things that we need to do to the car to go ahead and get it to where I want it. Now when I was purchasing air suspension, I wanted the car to basically sit on the floor and we're going to go ahead and still go for that goal, but there's a couple of more parts that we need to go ahead and make that possible. Now the rear air suspension isn't sitting anywhere where I want it to be. I basically want the car to be on the floor and in order to do that, I do need a specific set of control arms and I went ahead and already ordered them. I'm just waiting on those to come in. But once those come in, I'm hoping that the rears will sit a lot lower because right now I'm basically at coilover length while aired out. And I pretty much did spend a lot of money on these bags. And if that's the final problem, I definitely need to change the kit that I have. So the control arms that are ordered are the Stance V2 control arms and those are supposed to drop the car about 60 millimeters. After doing quite some measurements, I think that's going to be more than enough. I do believe that the control arms are coming in at the end of the month. So let's hope there's no shipping delays and once those are in, I can throw them on immediately. Now moving on to the fronts, I'm pretty happy with the fronts, but I do want to adjust the camber just a little. Now I don't want to be running any crazy camber amounts, especially up in the fronts, but I do want to add just a little so I can have the fronts drop a little bit more, the tire tuck and the front lip on the ground. But I'm going to go ahead and take care of all the camber adjustments once we throw on the control arms in the rear to have everything ready for the alignment. So the car also comes with a Bluetooth setup so I can go ahead and air out the car from my phone. And damn, it is slowly airing out. I love the air out process, it just looks so nice. I just can't wait till we can get the whole entire setup complete and have the car laying on the floor. That's gonna look so sick. Stay tuned for that, that will be coming in a couple of videos from now. I believe the part should be arriving at the end of this month. And there's not really a huge difference, but this right here is the ride height. The fronts are raised a bit high. So I can avoid any bumps or potholes in the road. And again, because the rears sit high anyways, I kind of have the rears raised just a little. I have no issues running this setup. I am going to go ahead and adjust it once we get the alignment done on the car. But for the past couple of days, this is how I've been driving around. Now that right there is the clearance I have and I haven't really been hitting anything with my front lip. My front lip is already broken in that corner right over there. So we're going to throw a new one on the car. Hopefully that one doesn't break with the new air suspension setup. But again, this is all temporary. I'm going to go ahead and get this figured out as well. This right here is the trunk setup. As you guys can see, we installed the wood trunk a couple of videos ago. And the biggest reason behind doing that is because I knew that the air suspension was coming in. So the tank is taking up most of the space, but behind the tank is the compressor and everything else is routed underneath below where the spare tire used to be. So it's a really clean setup. And although it's not a lot of space, I can go ahead and still use the trunk. I'm bad for your health, yeah, I've been moving 
So one thing I completely forgot to mention to you guys is we also went ahead and tinted the taillights on the car. As you guys can see, this is still the same V-Lens that we have, but we went ahead and tinted the middle part of the taillight. I just thought it would look a lot better, especially with the black accents on the car, like the side skirt, the roof wrap, the tints. And in my opinion, I think it was a really good choice to go ahead and tint these taillights. However, the people who tinted them didn't do the greatest job, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get them retinted. If you guys look closely, it's kind of peeling from the corner right over there. We got to this light right over here there's a couple of lines and bubbles and stuff so i think i'm gonna get them to redo it again i think the tint was a really good choice we also went ahead and threw on a custom license plate i ordered this months ago it finally came in i do have to have two so i have one over here and i also have one in the front I've showed you guys the car aired out. I've showed you guys the car at ride height. This is the car aired up all the way. And honestly, it kind of looks ridiculous. The back of the car looks more of a rally car and the fronts are okay. It's decent. This is kind of the stance I had on springs, but the backs are honestly just insane. Look how much of a wheel gap there is. I can literally put my whole hand through and there's still more space. And this is because of the control arms. Obviously, it will drop a bit more. And honestly, it just looks stupid. Imagine if I was driving the car around like this. So yeah, this right here is the car fully aired up. Let's just go ahead and drop it down. There you go, that is much better. So right now it's really hard for me to choose between the two. What do you guys like? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the front end or the rear end better. But damn, this car is looking so good and it's finally coming together. I know I've said it probably like a million times, but this car is gonna look so sick once we get the rear control arms in. I'm super excited. But right now, this is how the car is looking. I'm pretty happy with it, especially with the new additions like the taillight tint and the custom license plate. I feel like it's tying everything all in together. And let me know what you guys think of the build currently. Obviously, there's so much more we still wanna do, but right now, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. In the next couple of videos, you guys are going to see a lot change on the car, especially the stance because with the air suspension, I'm not super happy with how it came out. I definitely want to be sitting a lot lower and I'm hoping that will happen once the control arms come in. But all in all, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have made it to the end of today's video, definitely hit this video with a like. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, scroll down below and hit that subscribe button and leave any comments for me in the comment section below. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stop till I hear him say oh, oh, la, 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 la.